Hey guys, thanks for stopping by at my channel. This is going to be like an extremely quick tutorial of the, just to basically show you the bother I had to go through using this 35M palette. So what I'll do, I'll quickly just go through this quick tutorial, then go and do the review and tell you my thoughts all about the palette. So I'm using Play It Cool all over the lid. I'm um, just using a fluffy brush. Um, and I had to go into it multiple times to get the intensity I wanted on the eye. But it seemed to be performing, I would say, 6 out of 10 at that point. Um, bear in mind, this was my second attempt at doing a look with this palette. It just ended up looking like a disaster with two black eyes, really muddy and not attractive at all. I'm going in the crease now with Vampy Vixen with a small bullet crease brush. And once again, it will take me a little bit of time to build up that colour in the crease. Um, I wasn't having any big issues at this point. I was doing quite well. And then I just build that up on both eyes. Um, and I don't think... The first look I tried to do was a spotlight um, halo eye. And I just wanted to try and switch it up and try a different attempt, a different tactic, you should say. And by the end of the video, you'll see I just end up cutting it off short because once again I wasn't happy with it. So I go in with concealer um, to get the base prepared for the um, lid colour and I use Hot Stuff and Hot to Trot. I think both of those colours was a bad choice on my behalf. Um, but you'll hear my thoughts on this. It was very difficult to find a good combo using this palette. But yes, the video will suddenly cut off and you'll suddenly um, start hearing me do a review on the palette. So sorry about that guys and I'll be back in a second. Although I am feeling this eye look, I was catfished officially for the first time ever. This is a beauty tragedy because it's not an actual real tragedy. I was very excited about receiving the item I'm about to show you and I saw it appear about a week and a half ago, maybe, no, a couple of weeks ago, I saw this palette appear on um, the famous Trend Moods Instagram page as I follow her and see all of the up and coming releases coming out. And Morphe had um, released two palettes, a 35 Vibes, I think it's called, and then the 35M Boss, Boss Mood palette. Out of the two palettes, I was very drawn to the Boss Mood palette because it had a really good array of colour selections, very, very attractive colours. They had the pinks, the purples, the greens. I just thought that looks different to anything that I have. When I saw it, I was like, okay, it looks a really pretty palette. Then I kept looking at it and looking at it as you do. When I see something I really like online, I have a good think about it. Um, I don't necessarily just buy it straight away anymore like I used to do when I first started my channel just to review it. I think about it and think about it and think, am I going to use it regularly? Will it come in handy? And for some reason, I just kept being drawn to the palette. So I've got it. Um, Customer service was really good. I ordered directly from the Morphe UK website and it came literally next day free shipping. Here is the palette here. As you can see, it's quite a stunning colourful palette with some attractive colours in there. I think I'll, I will insert some swatches of this um, at some point during the video. It comes with a plastic sleeve with all of the names on the sleeve um and as you can hear in my voice i'm just absolutely devastated and this i think has made my mind up not to purchase anything from them as far as eyeshadow worth is concerned when i first got the palette which was what yesterday i think it was or the day before it was two days ago when i received it i immediately tried one look out which what caught my eye um, because I was dying to try the palette out. I wanted to keep it simple. So what I chose was Bright Eyes, which is the orangey shade right there. And then I also chose, I think it was Play It Cool. So I did a just a simple, kind of simple eye look with a cut crease. And it turned out really nice. Um, when I worked with it, 
it didn't have any major problems. When you dip your brush into a ABH palette and then one of these palettes, you'd see the difference straight away. You do have to go in a few more times to build up the pigmentation, but I was kind of used to that because I do have the 35, um, sorry, the 350M palette, which you do have to build it up as well to get the intensity you want, but it still didn't, it still, didn't really put me off when I used it. My Jaclyn Hill palette is probably the best Morphe palette I have. So I assumed this would be the same quality as that. So after I'd done that look, uh, the second day I thought, okay, I want to film and do my review on the palette. So I wanted to talk about the palette and show you an eye look at the same time. And I did one eye look because I already used the orange color in here. So it was the cranberry shades I went for first. It turned out to be a disaster. And I'll tell you why in a second. They were coming out basically blending into one. So you couldn't see any difference in the colors when I was blending. It just got into like a blended mess of muddiness. So I couldn't see a graduation of colors going um, into each one I'd chosen. I was absolutely livid yesterday because the amount of time I took to film and to film those both looks and I just thought okay this palette is definitely had its last day in my bedroom. Um, I did try and advertise it to sell straight away. No one showed any interest in it so obviously my daughter is very, very happy that she'll be getting this palette from me. So if you look at the palette again, you will notice that there is literally one light shade in the palette, which is a shimmer. The rest of them are all colours. So you've got your transition browns here and you have some darker cranberries and reds. So I was struggling it could be my lack of experience. I've never struggled so much in my life when it comes to doing an eye look with this because if you're going to do a certain eye look with a colourful palette like this, you're usually going to be doing cut creases or halo eyes, in my opinion. The colours, the shimmers in here do not stand out against the transition colour. So for instance, you've got this deep cranberry red here and then you've got the shimmers here and here. So if I swatch the deep cranberry red like that, not a lot of pigment on that as you can see. And then I put the metallic next to it here. That's quite pigmented. Once you've built up this transition shade, your first base shade to go with this, this doesn't stand out at all. So you want something lighter than this colour to make um, the lid pop. This is not. This wasn't making the lid pop. I and mean, then the other one you have, which is in this, the same family, is there. So that's more darker. These are good crease colours you can use. You can definitely have a decent selection of crease colours. But when it comes to putting stuff on the lid, you're limited. Um, you're not going to put a green on that and a purple I didn't think in my opinion the purples in here don't really go with this I wouldn't put this color with it and I wouldn't put this color with it so they're, they're like in a family of their own in my opinion the first look was so easy it was the light brown transition shade with this here there is a big contrast difference in those. So this orange stood out a lot more against this. And then obviously if you want to be repetitive, you can do that the same with all of them. So you can go in with one of these transition shade, brown shades here, and then choose any one of these, which will probably complement it. So you could use that and that together and then you could use this and the purple and today I've used it for the very very last time um, and it took me about nearly I don't know just under 10 minutes to decide which colors to go in with I won't have time for that the amount of um, work you have to put into uh, blending this the amount of work you have to take to build up the pigment of it it will it will delay me if I was to use this in my kit 
so I won't even be using it on clients. It will just delay me. Trying to decide on a look to use with this palette, it just takes too long, it really does. I do think they need more light shades in here. They're all dark, you know, on the cool side for the shades. But there is some pretty colours. There is some pretty colours. So I'm not a big fan of these greens here. Um, so obviously if you wanted to, you could go in with these nice, um, with these matte greens and then complement it with these two shimmers. I think that would look nice, but I wouldn't personally wear that on my eye. And I don't think a client would ever ask for that as well. Like I said, with all of these really pretty cranberry colours, the shimmers do not stand out next to it. So what would you put there instead? This, I didn't like this colour next to it, because I think I did that yesterday on the outside. And then I deepened it up. Sorry about that, I got interrupted for dinner and I'm back. The trouble I'm having is with the matte shades, they definitely need building up or some are patchy. At the end of the day, you can create a very good smoky eye with this, I think. If you are, if you were to use some, um, if you were to take your time in blending and using decent brushes, you can create a smoky eye. I haven't tried a smoky eye. I was drawn to so many different colours in this palette. That was one of the problems I had. Um, that you want to experiment with the colours in here rather than just concentrate on a um, plain smoky eye. But there's some amazing um, black shimmers in here which look so pretty. For instance, this one here looks stunning. This one is one of my favourite colours in the whole palette right here if I swatch it now. So it's quite crumbly and quite soft. It is one of my favourite colours in the palette and I'm actually quite upset that I won't be using it. I'll be giving this to my daughter. There, there are pretty colours in here. Oh my god, just marked all my jumper look. Just marked. After playing with it four times, I have um, decided to pass it on. I won't get much use out of it. I know I won't because of the simple fact how long it takes me to build up the colour. My main issue is I've worked with I've worked with some poor quality. I mean they're better than the um they're better than the Maybelline lemonade palette quality. So they're not as bad as that. And I have had this on all day on my eyes. It's obviously proved to have some decent staying power, so that's good. But to me it's the lack of lighter shades in this palette which has made things really difficult because I have I did work really hard trying to create a couple of good looks using this and I didn't want to do green because I think I saw a couple of reviews already doing the green and those greens are not my type of greens to use on a regular day-to-day -day basis. Today doing this it took me a good 10 minutes to decide which combo I wanted to choose to do this because not a lot I wanted to use the the most brightest pink on my lid all over and it just blended in too much with the crease colour so it wasn't doing anything for the whole look. You have to have something with a good contrast to get that effect you're looking for. Um, this is just my opinion. You guys might have completely different experiences to me and absolutely love it. I am just done with this palette. I'll be, I'll be happy to see it go. For something which takes that much thought to go into what combo you're going to do for the day that is too much of a hassle for me um but the more i'm looking at the palette there's things i could possibly think um there's things i could possibly create using it normally i've never had to do that with any kind of palette i've bought i've got the palette it might not be the most exciting palette in the world but always usually pick a combo quite quickly if what in what i want to try um and it doesn't take this much of a job to do it so that was why I was just initially, like when I first got it, I was like, oh. I normally use this type of brush to go in with the first lightest colour. This colour here, which is called Vampy Vixen, when you go in with a brush and start to go in, to me, that's like a sheer colour of that pan. You see? You have to use a different brush if you want a better payoff than that and build it up and build it up and build it up. So these two together is what I have on my eye today and that seemed like a nice contrast. 
and then on the inner corner I use the lightest shade in the pan. It's just too much hard work. I can't be, it's, to me this palette is just too much hard work for me to deal with. I mean the, some of the purples are really really pretty. This purple here is gorgeous. This one right here. I like this one a lot and it swatches quite nicely. The shimmers definitely are not much of an issue. Disappointed and I'd like to hear your experiences whether you're going to get it or not and if you have got it how's it worked for you I'm definitely interested to know how it worked for you because for me it's a big eh. the swatches look nice on my arm but once you start getting in there with your brush and deciding what to do then it comes to a whole nother story if you like this video please give it a thumbs up or if you didn't like it I hope I haven't um, offended anyone doing this video it's just my opinion but if you like the video please give it a thumbs up guys hit that subscribe button and I'll be back soon with another video.